what is closest to my heart are the voices out of the past of my dear wife Fran and our children Ellen, Mark, Karen, and Stephen as we were all growing up together. Hearing the prayers and songs and letters brings back sweet memories from almost a half a century ago. To be able to hear today how we sounded at that time is a technological feat. The DVD is made up of small reel-to-reel cassette tapes that are joined together. I admit that the venture is amateurish, but nonetheless hearing those voices preserves the happy past of which the Brown family took part. Enjoy as we relive together the 12 years between 1967 and 1979. This month, at the age of seven and a half, reciting the Passover Kiddush. Here is Ellen at age nine and a half singing the Passover Kiddush. Here is Stephen at age six months. And Karen, age one and a half. In the Passover Haggadah, read at the Seder, there are four questions, Ma Nishtana, which will now be chanted by Mark. Thank 
At the conclusion of the Seder, Ellen recites Chasal and sings the Shana. Mark recites the ten plays for Uncle Morris, Saba's uncle, his father's oldest brother. Ellen leads the family and grandparents, Nanny and Papa, in grace after meals. An interlude with Ellen singing the Adams Family theme song. We're sixteen in perfection, a spirit in collection. I count as me protection from the Adams family. It's campus we're amazing, and sometimes we're hey raising. <laughs> Everybody's casing at the Adams family. 
a well-known and popular prayer in Kelohenu is sung by Mark. Ellen sings the butterfly song. The butterflies were born, our bunks were the door, our counts as we get worn. We are the butterflies of Super Club Bunk for Ray. We know that we're the best of all the rest. Every morning on the buses, we put fearless energy for torturing the chance of the air. We raise a flag, sing a song, and start the day along with fun for one and all. We play on From the her camping and we days, the Ellen brought and back the butterfly the song. The Kiddish Cup oh, picture with a butterfly was given to me by my 2012 Literature of the Holocaust class, which studied the poem, The Butterfly. A letter to the Rosenthal's, December 1968. And the luggage was even slower in coming. We waited about a half hour for the luggage to come down the carousel at the airport. This is the last day of Hanukkah, and uh, we feel that uh, this has been a real wonderful time for the family to get together. Keith, you recited the blessings over the candles beautifully. We're all very proud of you. We hope that you continue to enjoy your school. From what Grandma and Aunt Rose say, your home is lovely and we hope that you enjoy it. How are you feeling, Ina and Larry? How about coming over and taking a trip here? We'd love to have you and you're welcome at any time. Wasn't it? Last night, New Year's Eve, we went to the symphony hall, where we saw the beautiful symphony hall, and we heard Mickey Katz and his review called Kiss Me Cakes. 
as uh, living as um, as you know, as you are. <laughs> you know, my Yiddish is better than there was a singer there, uh, Billy Durant from California, and uh, didn't know any Yiddish. <laughs> So uh, we had a good time laughing, and then Georgie Jessel came on, and the uh, right in this Georgie Jessel, as of a slow <laughs> comic. So uh, we were in the uh, this review, like the Borscht Capades, till about 11:30, and then I got the car. And it was a snowy, wet rain. And we got home, come, come at 12.30. And because we're so young people, we immediately went to sleep. (laughs) So we have our energy for the next day. This is the next day. (laughs) And tell them about the little girl. Uh, There's a little girl, Tanya, who sang last night. And she had a beautiful voice. And she sang in Yiddish, and she sang a beautiful Hebrew prayer, Sim Shalom. And it was a nice evening. Today I'm going to tell you about the Dukes. Our friends, the Dukes, are taking out the whole family. We're going to the Red Coach, the Red Coach Grill. And there we're going to have a supper, a fish supper. And we're looking forward to it. The picture is actually one of the Brown Rosenthal family taken in 1976. The family singing Hanukkah songs. Got 
We hope tonight to go out to dinner at uh, a local restaurant to have a fish meal, and it should be very nice. The weather here uh, turned warm, although it snowed the day that Auntie and Mother came in. It snowed for the first time, and the plane was real late. <laughs> Mark sings the Hanukkah blessings. Blessings. <laughs> the beautiful voice of our beloved mother, Grandma Elizabeth, is heard singing the Hanukkah blessings. Stephen is lighting the Hanukkah candles at a very young age. Ellen accompanies the family singing on the piano. Menorah. Anne and Stephen's Menorah. given to us by Mark and Ellen from Florida, which says, I am to my beloved, and my beloved is to me. Anila Dodi, the Dodi Lee. to us from California.
Karen and Stephen are playing in the snow, and Mark is delivering on his paper route. Stevie, say something. Hi, Scott. Hi, Scott. Say hi, Scott. Is that what you said, hi, Scott? I'm learning how to operate this uh, because I want to be able to use it at home. Our much loved Aunt Rose D. Cantor, Grandma's younger sister, known to our family simply as the Auntie. So, okay, I'm going to play it back to see how it really is since I'm a learner. So long for now. Trumpet playing by Mark. Mark is playing his trumpet and showing his sister Karen and brother Stephen how to play the trumpet. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the DVD. The next part of the Brown family begins in 1969. Come, let's watch it together. <laughs>